Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more Nino. Oh yeah. And uh, for those of you that have been following it, uh, you'll know we're in Hamlin. We've just seen uh, the prince who, yeah, it's got a bit of a, an image problem. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's just walk over here. Um, straight into the cow soon. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> so the great sage is a prince himself, is it? And he's broken hearted. Yeah, he's got an image problem. Uh, we have to do something and fast. We need to find him some belief. Uh, is it just me or is it getting misty in here? It is misty, isn't it? What's going on? Some sort of gas? Whoa, this is really something. What's going on now all of a sudden? Oh, Trippy's got his fog lamp going. Oh, I can't see a thing. Huh, wait a second. Hmm. There's someone there. Ooh, ooh, I can't see anything. Hello? Where'd they come from? They're still after us. Good point. To our huh? right. Look. There's more behind us. Damn it. Ooh. We're surrounded. Huh? Just who in blazes do you think you are? And where in the world did you spring from? I will have answers. Huh? We could ask you the same thing. Mind your tongue, girl. You stand before an emperor. We'll take care of them, your majesty. Emperor? <gasps> stand down! I must discover how they came to appear here. And I shall not rest until I have done so. It is my sworn duty to know all that goes on in my domain. Come! Bring them to my chamber. We have much to discuss. Sir! Ah. Huh? <gasps> well, Emperor Bolt didn't mess around, does he? Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll do that in my Emperor voice. Ha 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 ha. The more I listen to your lies, the more laughable they become. Are you truly trying to suggest that you are from the future? Is it really true, Swain? I'm not sure. I believe it myself. Oh, yeah, the silly voices. I don't work, do they? Um, there's no doubt about it. You saw the sorry state of the prince with your own eyes. The man you see before you now, on the other hand, he's the former Emperor of Hamlin. Oh. Hmm. You shall tell more of this. Now speak. What becomes of Hamlin in the future, and who is this prince that you encountered? Uh, he had long, dark hair and blue eyes. Hmm, ha 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 ha. If you must tell lies, you might at least make them credible, boy. Huh? We're not lying, he... Do you mean to tell me that my younger son will one day become emperor? Younger? So that Mardi prince has got an older brother, has he? Look at this. This is your darling son, Marcassin. Or Marcassin. Cassan. I think Marcassan. I think he was calling himself. All grown up. This is the future Emperor of Hamlin. Hmm. He does indeed look somewhat similar to my son. Should you really be showing him that, Swain? I had to do something. He never would have believed us otherwise. Marcus Han becomes Emperor. But what of Gascon? What be will become of him? Well, you never really liked him much. Any much anyway did you he wasn't really emperor material why was he stamping his foot when he said that are you claiming that I do not care for my own son I've had men in prison for less are you denying it surely not Marcus Sam was the only son you ever wanted how dare you how dare you make such a claim your majesty something terrible has occurred it's Prince Gascon and Prince Marcus Sam. they went out to practice their magic but they have ventured beyond the city walls. Leave them be, they shall fend for themselves. Oh. But your majesty, think of the danger. And Prince Markstan is still so young. You're not going to go and help them, your majesty? Certainly not. They must learn to resolve problems that are of their own making. That is the Hamlin way. This bloke's a bit of a douchebag. You're really good, just going to abandon your own children. Silence. 
But they're in danger, Your Majesty. If you won't help them, we will. Look, we don't have time for a staring contest. I say we leave this old fool, fool stew and find those kids. What did you say? We'll continue this later, shall we? Okay. Um. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Okay. We're back here. No more cutscenes. Nope, we're gonna make it all the way across, are we? I hope. Go on, you can do it, Ollie. Go on, Ollie! Right, and we're here. We've got. Oh, I don't suppose it matters if we run into guards, all we're gonna do is throw us out the door, aren't we? Uh, wrong way. So, yeah. Hello! Okay, so th this is the Hamlin of years past. Okay. It's the Hamlin of just running into little red lines on the map. Okay. Got anything going on here? I need to go upstairs, don't I? Yeah. Oh, nothing in the pot. Ah. As the Emperor would say, ha 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 ha. Oh dear. Yeah, right, well, we're, um, running around. I don't know exactly where I'm meant to be going, but, uh, I'll just follow the, uh, follow the map. And we're outside, okay. Uh, oh, no. Let's just do a quick save, um, mainly because it means we haven't got to go all the way through that again. Yes, so if something horrible happens, uh, we're back to there. Okay, save completed. Marvellous. Okay, right. Um, where are we going? Uh, ooh, I want to turn sort of leftish. Hello. You want to fight already, do you? Okay. We can do this. Clinkety clank. A clinkety clank. Marvelous. Let's go beat up the clinkety clank, shall we? Yeah. We'll beat a clinkety clank. Not a great one for physical attack, but we'll just finish him off anyway. Not the next, I think. Trying to neutral to physical attacks, but we'll just beat it up anyway. Go on, Mento. Go on, my son. And then we'll just go and bitch slap this jack rabbit. Yeah, we don't like it. So what can I say? It's a gift. There we go. Bit of XP, a little bit of Gilders. The Gilders. We like the Gilders. Yeah, I do want to be this side of that gorge, don't I? Yeah. Okay, and there's a crap ton of beasties to try and get by. Let's get by them. We can do it. Uh, in here? Well, I guess so. Now! Hello, what's Here he fighting? Oh no, not another machine thing. Oh. I haven't got a storm attack. I just can't do Crap. it. Stop whining. Try again. Uh. Huh? Be careful, Gaston. Uh. Ah. 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 
we got some sort of cunning man going, and he looks a them. bit yes. annoyed now. Okay. And we're running into, I don't think it's a boss battle, but it's going to be a, a battle of some Watch sort, this. isn't it? Okay. Come on in, Mito. I don't know what time it is. Right. Point of doing physicals on it. Let's try a flame. Yeah, he doesn't like fire attacks. Okay. Cool. Give me some of that. Clean that flame. Clean the flame. There we go. And we'll swap out to Ollie. And Ollie can do a bit of his uh, balls of fire. Oh yeah, he doesn't like that. And we'll do another fireball on it. Let's get let's get Tiggles out. Shall we? Go on, Tiggles. We did it. <laughs> there we go. Right. That wasn't too odd. Considerably the uh, less challenging than that bloody robot thing here. Okay, yeah, they're all leveling up. You crikey, that was a close one. No, it wasn't. Are you alright? You two are princes, aren't you? Your father is the Emperor. Yes, my name is Marcus Anne. Shut up, you fool. We can't go telling everybody who we are. Oh, so your brother isn't going to tell us his name. Leave me alone. Leave you alone? You do realise that we're the ones who just came and rescued you after you went off all on your own, don't you? Heh, <laughs> no one asked you to. We were practicing magic until you lot got in the way, that is. Uh, Gascon, I'm hungry. What? Already? Well, I suppose we'd better get you something to eat then. Come on, you lot. Huh? Heh, <laughs> you'd never make it back to Hamlin by yourselves. We'd better escort you. Really? Okay. Escort us? Yeah, don't worry, you can thank us later. Hmm. Two princes are now travelling with you. Okay. I'll take it they're not like travelling, travelling with us. Um, as in permanently. I'll take it they're just. Oh, run, 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 run. Just keep running. We can't get you. No, nah, it's not quick enough. Ha ha ha. Sucks to be you, little plant thing. Um, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, still travelling with us. He's gonna travel with us while we get some of this shadow glass. Okay. And we're back. Yep, yeah, yeah, that was easy enough. Go all the way back through it. I guess we do. Okay, before I leave here, I'm going to short. Short? Well, I just turned into short and Um, I'm going to sort out a storm attack beastie for my lineup. I think I'll put them in the third slot. Um. Yeah, let them level up a bit. But uh, if that last battle taught me anything, it was I really need to get a more rounded lineup. Okay. And do we keep running? Oh. 
walked into a cutscene. Okay. Are you lot still following us? But we've got to tell the Emperor that we found you. Heh. <laughs> you want to see my father, do you? I wonder what you want from him. Actually, I don't care. Bye. What a jackass. Hang on a minute, man. We saved your skin back there. Aren't you going to thank us or anything? Thank you. You're the ones who should be thanking us for escorting you back to Hamlin. The flipping cheek of this kid. I ain't never seen anything like it, man. Kid. I'm not a kid. And I have a name. Gascon. Prince Gascon to you. Be sure to address me properly if we ever meet again. Now come along, Mark San. Alright. Gascon and Mark San no longer travelling with you. Good, because that Gascon was a jackass. Who the blinking heck does he think he is? He's got me proper wound up, he has. So the two princes are called Gascon and Marcosan. There's something about Prince Gascon. Hmm, what is it? I feel like I've met him somewhere before. I guess it's just my imagination, though. Now, I'm beginning to think it may not be his imagination, because Swain seems to know an awful lot about this place. And he's about as personable. Oh, definitely, no doubt about it, it's your imagination, all right, see? See, he's just jumping straight on it. Mm, I guess so, huh? Now, stop wasting time with harebrained theories, we need to get moving. Okay. Let's go back in here, then. Ha 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 ha! I admire your spirit, not every child would so readily refuse an emperor. I'm sorry, your majesty, but there's something we have to do. Indeed. And yet your magical abilities really are outstanding. I realise now that I should never have doubted you. You understand that I am reluctant to let such a talent slip away. Are you sure I can't persuade you to be Marcus Sand's magic teacher? Heh, <laughs> just as stubborn as I remember. See? See? Oh, Swain. Or should I say, Gascon. Own up, come on. Hmm, what did you say? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but we really do have to get back to our own time. It's just, we don't know how. You wish to go back to your time to the future? Well, Breach Time would be ideal, of course. Breach Time? Legendary spell, one that allows a caster to take a leap through time. Alas, it has long been sealed away on account of its power. Gee, that sounds like just what we need. I wonder if there's a way we can get this Breach Time spell. Hey, I heard about your new rule. Why can't I go with Marcus and help him practice his magic? Really, Gascon, we both know you haven't a single magical bone in your body. Marcus Anne is to become a sage. He will learn nothing from the likes of you. That's not true. I'll teach Marcus Anne magic. I'll help him become a sage. You'll see. He does not need your help. Your time would be better spent thinking of another role for yourself within the Empire. What kind of role are you talking about? Would you have me spoon-feed everything to you? You must find your own answers to such questions. That is the Hamlin way. Fine. Come on, Marcus Anne. Let's go and practice some magic. All right. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I am sorry that you had to witness that. Dot, dot, dot. You were talking about breach time, Your Majesty. Yes, now in return for re rescuing my sons, I shall relate to you a piece of Hamelin lore. It states the spell required to travel through time is hidden on the tombstone trail along with the wand required to cast it. Tombstone Trail? I don't like the sound of that. Tombstone Trail winds its way through a desolate valley to the northwest of here. At its end stands a, an ancient altar, dating from the Age of Sages. That is where you will find the legendary wand, Mornstar. Mornstar? Prove yourself worthy of wielding that wand, and you shall surely be deemed ready to cast Breach Time. Be aware, however, that you can only cast Breach Time once in your lifetime. If you go back to the future, um, why can I now hear Huey Lewis and the news in my head? Uh, you will not be able to return to this time, do you understand? Yes, Your Majesty, we understand we're going to get more so and travel back to our own time. Your enthusiasm is admirable, yet beware the tombstone trail is home to countless evil spirits. Take this spell and use it to keep the fiends at bay. Oh, we've got an arrow of light. Cool. Sure will, thank you, Majesty. 
Hoorah. Right. Okay. Uh, no chests or anything in here. No. Okay. And we're back on the uh, Palace Tour Simulator 2000. Be nice. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. It's all very nicely done this game, but um, you do have to question as to why it makes you run all the way round here when it could just let you out. There's nothing here. Oh, no yeah, there's no chests or anything. No, no anything or anything. Okay. Run down here. Let me guess. Yep, yeah, another red line. Okay. And we run down here. See what I would like to do before I disappear out of here because I get the feeling um, that once we get thingy, Morn style. We're going to cast a spell and go back to our own time. So I think what it might be prudent to do is pop in the shops and see what they've got because they might not have it in the other time. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what you got? Haunted claws. Mm. Uh, tower toppler. Hmm. Uh, Soldier sword. Which is done. Uh, plus 17, plus 17 magic. Plus 8 accuracy. It's expensive though. Soldier spear, guardman's axe. Okay, I'm looking, and I'm not seeing anything that's um, outrageously brilliant at the moment, to be honest. I mean, that puts Mito's defence up to 100, which is pretty good, but it's on 93, so it's only... Only up a bit. Um, piercing fangs, steel skulls. Yeah, yeah. That's what I say. No, do you know what? I'm not going to bother. There, there really wasn't anything there that was fantastic and worth sort of the money he's asking, really. Okay. Um, continue down here. We've got the old switch solutions. Don't know if I've got a card or not. Have I got a card? Um, nothing to do. Really? Oh, I can't get cash in a card either. There's not even a conciliatory chest, chest there, is there? Ah, oh well. Okay. Um, got the Mad Owl Woman shop. Wanna go in there? How are we doing for stuff? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I might possibly. Yeah, I might get some um, coffee stuff to use just in case I run out of magic. Oh, hello, how can I help you today? Um, strong coffee is 30 magic points. That's 800. That's 200 and does 10. Hang on, 
So it's 200 and does 10. So three of them does 30, which is 600. And one of them does 30, which is 800. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll get some of these. Because that's the same as... Isn't it? Yeah. But it's cheaper. Why would anybody buy the other one? Well, I suppose it's quicker just to take the one thing, but... Um, okay, I'm gonna get one of these because I used the other ones up. Um, petrification Stony Prison. We'll not come across that yet. Okay. Um, got ten of them, 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 ten of them. Okay. Uh, I haven't even looked into like alchemy stuff, have I? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Where am I going? Where's the door? Oh, there's there. <laughs> Derp. Okay. <clears throat> right. Chest. No, it wasn't the chest. I'm seeing things. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hello, hello. How can I help you today? Right. First of all, splish splash. Uh, body blast, sabotage. Two, two. Um, I'm going to drop him off. I'm going to drop him off. And... He's got a water bomb, so I've got a water attack. <clears throat> okay. Right. Uh, so we've dropped him off, and now we need to retrieve. Right. Where has he dropped? Hot Huff. Grosser Rain Flame, Flame Flame, Hot Huff, Belly Buster. Is that a storm? No, oh, it's physical. My life. Stalag Mix, Slash Hit, Lightning, Splish Flash, Body Blast. Thunder Spark, there's a storm attack. Aha, uh -huh. right, you. There. Okay, I'm going to leave a couple of gaps just in case I pick anybody up. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Now we'll go into here and we'll pick you up and we'll switch you and you. I should have been levelling this guy up earlier by the sound of things. Um, okay. We have a storm attack. It's a crap one, but we have one. <laughs> So I've got water, I've got fire, um, Ollie's got a light attack, uh, I've got physical obviously. Hmm. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and spend the night in that hotel, the cat's cradle, because um, you're meant to visit everyone anyway and it will fill up your book so hopefully yeah uh, price 140 yeah it will stay it restores everybody's magic everybody's stuff yeah. and it will save the game which is always good yeah save the progress there yes Okay, and we have the uh, gummy saved. Okay, trust you hadn't have a perfect night's sleep yet. Nothing for the book? No? Nothing at all? I mean to say I've spent all that money and we've got nothing in the book. Son of a gun. Okay, well, I think this is as good a place as any to uh, call it an episode, actually. Um, so, yeah. Will, well, you see that disappeared. <gasps> see, I'm a wizard. Um, so yeah, we'll call this an episode. I'll uh, 
just saved the game. Well, I've just saved it. So, um, so we'll set off from here tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. As always, don't forget click that like button if you enjoyed it. Um, leave me a comment if you uh, feel so inclined, and I will catch up with you on the flip tomorrow. Take it easy guys, for now, it's Random, signing off. <laughs>